Today, Evil Alligator will be having a meeting. I will first call Horse Von Hay. What is this nonsense about Evil Alligator? Do not waste my fancy time. I will then call the old man who plays Toontown. Hello, Evil Alligator. I am the old man who plays Toontown. Why did you invite this peasant? He's just going to scream about nonsense. Nonsense? Oh, you mean like how you're still in denial about how the laugh limit used to be 170? Ugh, evil alligator, this is a waste of time. It is funny you should mention how the old man screams about nonsense, Horse Von Hay, because evil alligator was curious about the old man. What? How he's a peasant? Evil alligator is curious about the old man who plays Toontown's past. What? I'm just an old man who plays Toontown! I hate to agree with this peasant, but I think he's just an old man who plays Toontown. Who's also a peasant? Hmm, Evil Alligator is not so sure. Not sure I'm a peasant? Why? Evil Alligator is only curious about you, old man. We don't know anything about you. I am just curious. Oh, sure. Why don't you just ask? Evil Alligator would like to know where you're from, your age, and when you started playing Toontown. Oh, uh, never mind, don't ask. Hmm? It appears Evil Alligator was correct. You are hiding something, old man. I bet your peasant lawyer knows more about you than we do. I'll call him up right now and get to the bottom of this. Oh my, a client. Never mind, it's just Peasant Von Hay. Hey, you peasant lawyer! Tell me more about your stupid client, the old peasant who plays Toontown. Like, uh, what's his real name? While I would be willing to break any laws or invade my client's privacy for jelly beans, I sadly do not have that information. Really? Oh, uh, well, besides name, do you know how old he is? He, he only says he's the old man. We, we never got his actual age. Why are you asking me about this? I don't know. Dave, you're a lawyer. Of course you're supposed to document these things. My law degree is as valid as Toontown Rewritten's intellectual property rights of Toontown online. Oh, well, sorry for thinking you, someone who claims to be a lawyer, might have higher standards than a team of idiots who made a stupid fan-made private server of a dead Disney MMO. I mean, for the love of God, do you even document anything? He said he pays you in jelly beans. Does he actually pay you in jelly beans? Oh, wow, the old man who plays Toontown, someone I don't know their actual name, gave me jelly beans. For supposed legal services? What even? <sighs> Have I also mentioned that I was disbarred and thrown out of the prestigious law school? Well, the law school wouldn't have been very prestigious if they kept you in it. Oh no, Horse Von Hay, it looks like you hit a dead end because Dave is definitely, for sure, without a doubt, the only person in the universe who would know anything about me. Wait a second, that gives me an idea. Evil Alligator, don't you have a large research file about pretty much everything on Toontown? 
Wait a second, I do. How could I forget? I just sang a musical number on that. Oh no, maybe I spoke too soon. Well, as Evil Alligator said, he documented everything about Toontown. So you must be included in that old man who plays Toontown. Evil Alligator must have misplaced his research notes. One second, let me go search for them. Ah, uh, Dave, uh, do something. Old man who plays Toontown. I want you to listen to me very carefully. Yes, Dave, do you have a plan? You're an old man who plays Toontown. I'm sure that's far worse than anything that's in this research file. <laughs> Even your stupid peasant lawyer's on our side. Why are you siding with that stupid fancy horse? Because you won't tell us anything about yourself. Yeah, you peasant old man. You could have just answered our questions. Don't you two idiots hate each other? Oh yes, your lawyer is an ultra peasant. Trust me, I still want Horse Von Hay to burn to death in the lava room. Oh, at least the lava is fancy red. I fear that you aren't good enough to drown in the paint room, Dave. Dave won't fall in the paint room. He's really good at making those jumps. Alright, I'm sick of this. Evil Alligator, are you done searching for that research file? It is time to go through Evil Alligator's top secret research file? Evil Alligator can't find the research file! Someone must have stolen it! You stupid old man, did you seriously break into Evil Alligator's house and steal his research file? I literally couldn't have done that. I didn't even know there's a research file until today. Who else would possibly go to such lengths to steal Evil Alligator's research notes? We've already established that whatever you're hiding from us is probably in Evil Alligator's research notes. You're the only one who would actually do such a thing. And if it's not you, who would it be? Do we have any leads at all? Evil Alligator agrees. The old man who plays Toontown is suspicious. But Evil Alligator does not think the old man stole Evil Alligator's research notes. Hmm, okay, Evil Alligator. I'm still not going to 100% trust the old man yet, but that still begs the question. We don't have any leads! If the old man who plays Toontown didn't steal your research notes, then who did? Wait. Someone just sent me an email. Look at this! What kind of email is this? Email sent from question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, let's see. Hi, XD. Well, I didn't steal Evil Alligator's research notes. I know who did steal them. Sadly, my owner wants them, so I'm not telling you who stole them. But I will give you a hint. They are on Toontown rewritten. I don't think this is from the old man, but I'm not sure. Okay, come on, Horseman. Hey, you think I would send an email and say, LOL, LOL, XD, XD. I, I don't even know what that means. You know what that means. Ugh. Evil Alligator, what do you think? I don't think the old man would send an email like this. Okay, fine, but do you think we should go on Toontown Rewritten? Hmm. Well, Evil Alligator thinks it couldn't hurt to try, right? Alright, fine. Go log on to Toontown Rewritten. Oh yeah, it's time for to play some Toontown. You coming, Dave? I shall also come with you on this journey. Evil Alligator is now at Toontown Rewritten. Well, did you hit any key? Okay. That's a new one. Oh my gosh, you peasants. You have to do it like this. Okay, that didn't work either. <sighs> Evil alligator will try again. Oh my gosh, you peasant game. You stupid old man, are you behind this? You think that I'm as incompetent as the TTR coders? That's offensive, Horse Von Hay. <sighs> the only reason we're trying to get on this peasant game is to find Evil Alligator's research file to prove what you're hiding. It doesn't mean I'm 
as incompetent as TTR. Here, give me the keyboard. Do 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 do. Okay, well, it says we broke it. Should we report this error? No. Well, the nobody just disappeared, it looks like, so I don't know if that's an option. Oh, well, the yes button is now gone, too. Look, the report error feature has an error. Why is it trying to load the phase files? Are the phase files supposed to load on the authentication screen? Do the TTR developers even know what an authentication screen's supposed to do? Oh my god, look, it's loading the phase files. What on earth is going on? This is incompetent, even for TTR's sake. Phase files failed to load. Okay, what the heck was it loading then? Please stay calm. What, do a lot of people not stay calm on the TTR authentication screen? RPG mode? What the heck is this? Reality may distort as you are absorbed into the game world. What? Are we supposed to roleplay like we're being absorbed into Toontown? Evil alligators being absorbed into Toontown! It's real! Oh dear god! Turn the computer off! Turn the computer off! I'm trying! Dave, don't get absorbed into Toontown we ran in! Oh my god! They got Dave! Oh no! I'm dead! Oh! No, I'm a fancy horse. Oh, even oh, old oh, fancy or whatever this is. Evil alligator. So turn down your present vortex. Evil alligator is at Toon Down Re. Wait a second. This seems different. It appears we have stumbled into a role-playing game. That's a little bit of an odd choice, considering. Toontown is a role-playing game to begin with. What? You mean role-playing like those elitist cats? Meow, 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 meow. Shut up, old man. You know what I'm talking about. Evil Alligator has found a tune. Wait a second. So, is this a battle instance if this is an RPG? Hello, Toontown cat. Evil Alligator's research notes were stolen. Do you have any idea where they might have gone? Oh, I see. So Evil Alligator used up his turn asking for help. Yeah, and then the elite cat did the meow meow. Evil Alligator is very sorry to inconvenience you. However, someone stole Evil Alligator's top secret research notes, and we were wondering if you had any information. This cat does appear to be quite worthless, but we are not getting anywhere with the information. Look at this! Evil Alligator found a help guide. Click on the yes button. Do not fear. I have stumbled into a few role-playing games throughout my life. I shall explain how it works. What's a role-playing game? Well, that's easy. It's a game where you beat everyone up. Currently, we need to ask Toons if they have any info on who stole your research notes. Asking nicely won't help in a role-playing game. Look down here. This text box explains what's currently happening in the battle. And up there, who you're currently beating up. If you're knocked, if you're knocked out in battle, you will be unable to battle until you recover. Don't worry, we have four party members. Just have to make sure we don't all get knocked out at once. Wait a second, how advanced is this role-playing game? Horse Von Hay has a very fancy idea. Evil Alligator, try to use an attack that you literally couldn't use in any other game. Evil Alligator will use Pinkie Pie Lotion. That worked. It appears we can use any attack we can think of. Are you sure that's what it means? I'm the old man who plays Toontown, but like, so I can't really pretend I know anything about World of Warcraft, but I bet Pinkie Pie Lotion was an attack in World of Warcraft. Shut up, you peasant! Anyways, Evil Alligator, ask this cat if they have any information. You appear to have won the battle. Evil Alligator has defeated you, so tell me, where are my research notes? Hmm, it appears that this peasant does not have any information. Let's go and look around for other tunes. 
Oh, and before I forget, as obvious as it may seem, any one of us four can attack at the start of the battle. I point this out so a certain someone, the old man who plays Toontown, doesn't pretend like he can't attack. Why would I pretend that I can't attack? All oh, because of the research notes and... Uh, don't worry, don't worry. I, 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 I've been around since Beta Toontown, remember? Ugh, whatever. Anyways, we will follow your lead, Evil Alligator. Evil Alligator found another tune. Oh my gosh! This tune attacked first. This must be a really strong tune. Horse Von Hay, what can you do? Horse Von Hay will use Fancy Punch. Oh no, this rabbit keeps calling for reinforcements. I bet some very strong reinforcements are on their way. Old man who plays Toontown, what can you do? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a story about Beta Toontown. So in Beta Toontown, you can actually take your cart, your racing cart, and run tunes over in the playground with it. Wait, I wonder if that still works. Oh my god, it still works! Ah, that's amazing! Evil Alligator thinks that was fantastic teamwork. Oh my god, he only had speed chat. Oh god, it looks like someone's not happy we've been beating up tunes in the playground. Evil Alligator takes tons of damage from sound. Doesn't everyone take tons of damage from sound? It's an overpowered gag track. Evil Alligator uses Pinky Pie Lotion. I think that worked. It doesn't look like he's defeated yet, though. Evil Alligator can't take more sound. All right, whatever, I'll, I'll deal with this idiot. I'll use a trio of drop gags. Why drop? It always misses. Come on, one of these has to hit. There we go. Wait, is he all right? Look at the text box, you moron. He's dead. Here, let me remove the flower pot. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. Well, good job winning the fight, at least. Here, let's look around and see if we... Warning! Oh my god, Warning! what's that alarm? Warning! Toad HQ is, is sounding an alarm! Warning! This is not a drill! Two toads have been beaten up! One got killed! Whose voice is that? Is that Dr... Hey, shut up, you stupid fancy horse! I'm trying to listen to the alarm! Oh, <sighs> whatever. Everyone in Toon Down has been given a toon task with who you need to defeat! Remember, toads of the world unite! Oh no, it appears Toon HQ has given everyone in Toontown a Toon test, telling everyone to defeat us. You stupid peasant lawyer, do you think we didn't hear the alarm? Hey, stop being so mean to Dave, Horse Von Hay. I, I bet Dave's got a great idea for how we can get a Toon HQ to uh, get rid of this Toon desk so we don't get actually like beaten up. Let's go beat up an HQ officer and force them to retract the task. Uh, that's a decent idea. What do you think, Evil Alligator? Evil Alligator thinks we shall go to the Toon HQ! There you are, HQ officer! Remove that task from all the Toons! Horse Von Hay, this guy isn't listening to any reason. Oh my god! There's boss battles in this? Are you serious? Hey Dave, try using one of those cog attacks on him! Here's your pink slip. You're out of here! Fire, notice determination. In an effort to downsize our payroll department, we are downsizing your paycheck to zero, effective immediately. With love, your former boss. Well, I guess he isn't a cog. His first attack is to offer us a tune task? All right, why, why would anyone accept that? Horse Von Hay will use Fancy Punch. Well, yeah, he's a quest giver. W why do you think we could harm him? Is the only attack this peasant has is to offer a tune task? Well, it doesn't really matter because we are not accepting that tune task. Oh my god, Dave, I know I pay you with jelly beans, but we're in the middle of a boss battle. Get off the phone. I know you don't have any clients. We will not accept your horrible Toon task! Oh my god, cold callers are breaking into the Toon HQ! Cold callers, please help us! Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. Even though I'm already the crazy old man, I'm gonna become the craziest old man who plays Toontown if I keep having to see this task! 
<laughs> Why is your peasant lawyer laughing now? Wait a second. Did Dave actually have a plan? It's a clearance sale. All tunes must go. Oh, Dave, you're on the phone with the VP. <laughs> oh, for such a peasant lawyer, that was a pretty good idea. Hello, Dave. What a great idea you had. Ha 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 ha. Hello, Senior Vice President of Sales. I'm grateful you answered my call. What are you doing this fine day? Making sales? I am helping Coach Z's evil twin pet alligator recover his research notes. Oh, interesting. Have you been able to find these research notes? We have not. And we have even beat up a bunch of tunes in the playground. Hmm, I think I could help you out with that. My cogs know all the gossip about this town. However, it will take some time. So could I ask for a favor while I ask around? Oh my, doing a favor for the Fancy Vice President of Sales? Whatever do you have in mind, Senior Vice President? I have been getting defeated too many times lately. There's this pro greener I want you to recruit. Evil Alligator Wonders, do you mean my owner, Coach Zucchini's evil twin? Oh no, he already greens plenty in the VP boss battle. I'm sure you have seen his series known as VP Greening. He does more than enough. I'm talking about a different greener. He lurks near the gag shop barrels. Could you go get him while I get info on where your research notes could be? Evil Alligator thinks this is a great plan. We shall help you. Thank you. Hmm. Well, it looks like this is the place, but it doesn't look like anyone's here. Oh, you're such a stupid fancy horse. He's definitely inside one of these barrels. Here, let me, uh... Alright, I give up. Oh my god, are we even sure this is the right barrel? Oh my god, oh no, oh god, who's this? Uh, yes, hello. We heard there was a greener here. Oh my god, this guy's a moron. It's been a while since I've gotten to beat up a tune in the playground. I'm for this. We just beat up like three tunes. It, it doesn't matter. What, what's this person doing? Is, it, is he analyzing us? I'm not an ugly orange duck. You think I'm just some random red horse? I am known as Evil Alligator. I am in fact not a dinosaur. What kind of cog is Dave? Okay, wait, I have to entertain this. There's not even a correct answer to that. Dave is just Dave. Horse one, hey, I gotta see where this goes. Hey, you greener, take a guess at what type of cog he is. Oh, you think you know what what kind of money bags? Why? For the love of God, this is the stupidest thing ever. Please, just. All right, wait, all right, all right. Let me here, here. Let's compare. Let's compare the money bags to Dave. I, they might look similar, actually. All right, so on the left, I, we, we all agree that's a money bags, right? Like, we gotta, gotta set that ground rule, right? All right, good. All right, so now on the right, uh, that's Dave. Wait, why is Dave sighing? Did, did I do something wrong? Out of all the stupid images of Dave you could have picked, why did you pick that one? Oh, okay, old man, always doing something wrong. I, I'll get another image. Uh, what about this one? Just get a normal image. Horseman, hey, I don't think Dave takes normal images. Look at this one, he literally has a bag. Alright, whatever, this is Dave, look, he's a money bag. Okay, whatever, I, I don't care. Just, just beat up the stupid dog. And... Just try to unravel this. Alright, let's drag this dog to the VP. Wait a second, we are missing something. Let me gift wrap this. There we go. Now let's bring this dog to the Vice President of Sales. Hello, Senior Vice President of Sales. We have got your greener for you. Oh my, how thoughtful. Thank you for even gift wrapping him. My cell bots got you some info. Take a look at this map they made. They have carefully cultivated all the gossip to create this map. Just follow it for the research notes. Evil Alligator is... confused. What is the problem, Evil Alligator? Evil Alligator thinks this is a tuna state, but do we know what tuna state? Oh, yeah, this one looks similar. I, I think I've seen this one before. 
How on earth would you remember such a trivial thing? Oh, is that you, the old man who plays Toontown? Do not worry, Horse Von Hay. I've known the old man who plays Toontown since Beta Toontown. Oh, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go to the estate. Wait a second, how do you... Unfortunately, I have a playground to field office arise. So please, go and get your research notes. However, Dave, feel free to call me if you ever need me. <sighs> it doesn't matter, Horse Von Hay. Let's go find out for ourselves. Let's go to this Toon Estate. Hello, whoever stole my notes. Show yourself. We are here to take back Evil Alligator's research notes. Where is the supposed peasant who took Evil Alligator's research notes? Old man who plays Toontown, is this a trick? Oh my god, I'm t Oh my god, did you hear that? Oh my god, is that who I think it is? It is I, the elite epic Toontown vlogger. Oh my god, not you again. This peasant again? Out of all the peasants who could have stolen the notes. For anyone who doesn't know my history with the old man who plays Toontown, let me go into my backstory with him. He stole my toon by breaking into my house. He then wasted all of my unites and summons, and then, worst of all, changed my elite toon into this fat orange duck. Hey, that's... The, the fat orange duck is my main tune. That, that's what my tune looks like. That's why I look like the fat orange duck. I don't care. You changed my tune. And after you changed my tune, I then didn't know what to do. I did this whole thing where I went to this VP and this CEO. But fortunately for me, the kind tunes of Toontown... <gasps> Help me understand and see that Toontown is a wonderful game. Hey, you forgot to mention that you also beat me with a chair. Yes, I did. I got some revenge that day, but I didn't get my full revenge. I will enact my full revenge right now. Old man, after studying these research notes, I have come to one conclusion. You are hiding something. Tell me, what are you hiding? I'm just an old man who plays Toontown, I know. Let me ask you a few questions. Where are you from? I don't know, I'm from a Toontown. That makes no sense. Ugh, <sighs> as funny as it is to see the old peasant who plays Toontown get owned by the elite epic Toontown peasant, Horse Von Hay is getting tired of this nonsense. Evil Alligator agrees. Old man, join us. Let's finish the elite epic Toontown vlogger. Fine. After I beat you up, I will then ask all my questions. <laughs> oh my god, he's a boss. Wedding cake. Evil alligator thinks the old man has something to say. What is this? All right. I don't really want to fight you. I don't really want to keep doing this. I'll tell you everything. I forfeit. What? That day, I broke into your house. I... I had a key reason. Wait a second. It wasn't... Wait, it... It... It wasn't just to mess with me? Well, it's probably time I was honest with everyone. I left something at my house that ended up becoming your house that I needed to go and get. And the reason I needed to get this item back from your house is because it was related to Toontown rewritten development. Wait a second, what? Old man, you peasant, you never told any of us any of this. Evil alligator, verify. Evil alligator, uh... That might maybe be true. I don't know. Evil Alligator thinks there was something in the research notes related to that. I still... It's okay, Evil Alligator. I'll explain everything. Here. Let's... Let's go over everything. 
the elite epic toontown down vlogger will get evil alligators research notes it might make certain parts easier to explain it is now time to learn the backstory of the old man who finally he turned around ha! How do you like getting hit with a chair, you stupid elite epic dude down idiot? You got hit by a chair! Anyways, I got your notes back, evil alligator. Here you go. Evil alligator thanks you. Was that whole charade to skip the boss battle? Well, honestly, I don't know. I was just kind of waiting for him to turn around. It took longer than I expected, honestly. Did you check his HP bar? Oh, I guess, let, let's see. Yeah, yeah, look, I won. Old man, old man. Dude, your HP is zero. You lost. Stupid HP bar, go back up. Oh my God, cut this out. You shut up. Oh my God, he threw the HP bar at me. I'll use this. A rake. Don't you need lure? Old man, let's leave. I've had enough of this peasantness. Evil Alligator does want to look at the research file. Yeah, you're right. Let's, let's go. Fine. It looks like the elite epic Toontown vlogger has lost. However, remember, you know nothing about the old man who plays Toontown. I was only trying to warn you. Now leave. Hey, look. It looks like the VP left a note. No stalling. No, seriously, look, look, the VP left a note. Evil Alligator will read the note. The old man who plays Toontown is not lying. Oh, <gasps> make it fast. I want to see in the research file. To Dave, Evil Alligator, the old man who plays Toontown, and Horse Von Hay. They made field offices too easy. It got taken back by the tunes way too fast. Oh, my bad. To hurry up. Evil Alligator apologizes too fast. I hope you found Evil Alligator's notes, though. Signed, the VP. Anyways, I am quite a curious foncy horse to see what's inside this. I am a foncy horse who will now learn the old man who plays Toontown's backstory. I am turning the page, revealing... That peasant fooled us! Oh my! Hey, Horge Von Hey, do you need Evil Alligator to read the Elite Epic Toontown Vloggers? No, no, I don't! Evil Alligator thinks you should turn the page. A hint. The, we, we don't have time for this. Evil Alligator will turn page for a hint. What? Horseplay sitting on a bench? I didn't think that there would be a hint, but I didn't expect this. Horse Von Hay, turn the page. I want the better quality image. We don't have time for this nonsense. Evil Alligator kind of agrees. We don't have time. Look, uh, look at the better quality image. Ugh, come on, you peasants. Let's go back to the elite epic peasants house. Hey, vlogger idiot. Oh, wow. Wow, we're such peasants. Wow, you really tricked us. Now give us the real file. Oh, Horse Von Hay, look. He's right there. Hey, could you give us the... I see. You figured out it was a fake. It doesn't matter anymore. I made tons of fake files. Look at all these. I was planning for this. Oh, you peasant. Did you ever have the real research file? Yes, I did. But shortly after you left, someone claiming to be from Looney Labs came for the file. Now, of course, as the elite epic Toontown vlogger, I gave them the fake file. However, unlike you idiots, the person idiot tune from Looney Labs checked the file. I tried to play it off cool, as the elite epic Toontown vlogger is very cool, but that did not work. And I had to give the Looney Labs idiot person tune the actual file. He also beat me up for wasting his time. Now leave my plan, my elite epic plan.
plan has failed. Why in the world did Looney Labs take the research notes? Well, maybe the elite epic tune down idiot guy. Yeah, that guy. We, we should go back and ask him. That doesn't make any sense. Shut up. Oh, calm down, you are a fancy horse. Anyways, let's go into Looney Labs and get the research notes. Hi, I'm Dr. Shirley. How can I help you find June? Oh my god, I never imagined his voice would sound like that. I doesn't matter. Hello, Dr. Surly. Have you found Evil Alligator's research notes from one of your assistants or something? Ah, this well, er, um, you, she, ah, uh, well, top secret, sorry. <sighs> Hello, Dr. Surly. Those are Evil Alligator's notes. Could you please give them to him? Oh, well, these notes are quite boring, so sure, I guess I'll give them. Evil Alligator thinks that was surprisingly easy. But first, I need a favor. There's too much silliness. Have you noticed we are in Toontown? <laughs> You're one funny fancy horse, but obviously I don't mean like that. We recently started updating the silly meter to start animating more objects in Toontown. You know, outside of the mailboxes and trash cans and uh, fire hydrants. I think that's all it originally animated. Uh, so anyways, we're doing that and uh, well. The results are coming back and they're quite, uh, interesting to say the least. Created effect only takes place in Toontown Central, Donald's Dock. Alright, and at a golf area. Never remember its name. So, if you four can go and uh, check up on those areas. Alright, let me see if you can get this straight. So, Dr. Shirley, you recently upgraded the silly meter and it's animated other things and uh, things you don't want to be animated. So, uh, you want us to go and if we see anything out of the ordinary, what do you want us to do? If anything goes wrong, do what you always do. Battle! Oh, also, check up on Clerk Whittle for me after you're done. Here, I'll even write you up a tune task so you don't forget. <sighs> so we're going along with this nonsense? Evil alligator. Sure, why not? We haven't battled things in a while. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Okay, so we have to check Toontown Central, Donald's Dock, and Chippendale's Acorn Acre. It says golf area. Well, I know it says golf area, but shut up, old man who plays Toontown. And then after that, we have to check on Clerk Will. So let's survey Toontown Central first. Evil Alligator has found that the trolley is talking. Wait, the trolley hates mini games now. Here, let me tell the story about uh, Beta Toontown. Now, Trolley, you used to actually run tunes over. You used to not even play mini games. You used to just run tunes over in the playground. Oh no. Oh no. The Trolley, the Trolley now thinks it's a good idea to run tunes over. Oh my god, Trolley, no. You... There is nothing up my sleeve. Conducting a service charge. Boing, 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 boing. Well, now that the peasant lawyer and his peasant client fainted, Horsevod Hay and Evil Alligator will deal with you, Trolley. Hello, Trolley. Did you know that Trolley games are 
for peasants? Well, if you agree, then what's the point of the trolley? Evil alligator will throw banana peels! Yes, come run me over, stupid trolley! You peasant! <laughs> Great work, Horse Von Hay! Oh, well that was fine work on your end, evil alligator. Oh my god, I got hit by a trolley! Shut up, you peasant! It looks like the trolley's the only thing acting up in Toontown Central. So let's go to Donald's dock. Oh god, we're gonna go down Punchline Place. Evil Alligator thinks there's something weird about this mailbox. The only thing weird about this mailbox is how it wastes my time, and it's been doing that since original Toon Down. Start of every battle, it jumps around and wastes my time. Oh, look, old man, the peasant mailbox thinks it can waste more of your time. Oh, really? How? Oh my god, I'm being eaten by the mailbox! Evil alligator is concerned. Wait, uh, don't do anything yet, evil alligator. I'm curious to see where this goes. Is this going where I think it's going? Oh wow, the mailbox mailed me to the Toon Memory game! What a funny mailbox! Ah! I'm, 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 I'm going back to that stupid mailbox! No, I didn't learn my lesson, you stupid mailbox! Ah, ah, Dave, do something! Wait, are we even supposed to be battling this mailbox? This mailbox is just a normal object. It's not doing anything wrong. Oh my god, it ate me! Dave, submit a fake document to the steward postmaster or something! You're submitting a fake report to Peasant Master Pete. Uh, not the worst idea. That'll probably work. The mailbox does not seem to be convinced. Evil Alligator is curious. What did you submit in this document? Look at this. Alright, Dave's my lawyer, so I'm gonna be the one who reads the document. Evil Mailbox, hello, I am submitting this document to you because there is a really evil mailbox that's destroying everything on Punchline Place. It's breathing fire and eating tunes and taking all their gags. Please get someone to destroy it. Thanks. Alright, that sounds pretty good to me. You're a stupid mailbox if you think they're not gonna fall for this. Oh my, it looks like they sent a mail tune. <laughs> Look, it's working! Ah, you're such a stupid mailbox! That's what you get for breathing fire, you stupid mailbox! Oh wow, they're actually putting the mailbox out of order? Look, it's addressed to the trash! Where would the trash in Toontown be? Maybe the lava room? Burned to death in the lava room. Ah, what a stupid mailbox! Ah, good job, Dave! We defeated the mailbox! Evil Alligator found a sign! Oh, you have a request? Why do you want us to join the Toon Resistance? Oh, you think cogs are evil? Well, cogs aren't any better than toons. Toons are ultra peasants! Uh-oh, Dave, I think the sign's talking about you! Oh my god, here it comes! ETR Propaganda. Oh, you made the peasant sign angry. Oh. oh my god, Dave, look out! It's gonna punch you in the face again! Wait, I need to use gags to defeat you. I will use this whole fruit pie. Evil alligator did not see that coming. It's throwing it back at Dave? Oh my god, I'm annoyed. Let, let me deal with this. Ah, uh, here. I, I, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna just draw on the sign. There's no way that's going to work. Never mind, that worked. Ah, I told you, you stupid fancy horse. Old man wins! Old man wins! Evil alligator thinks we should go to the playground. Yes, let's see if anything unusual is happening in Donald's Doc's playground. <laughs> I will pollute Donald Dock for profit. Oh. <sighs>
Evil alligator thinks you're a fool. Dave didn't faint. He just fell in the water. Hey, did we check this bench over here? Oh, it's talking. You think you're a worthless feature? Oh, you're not a worthless feature. A lot of tunes like to just sit around the playground and do nothing. The bench makes that more possible. It makes it so there's a place where they can actually, you know, be. And they can actually be in the playground here. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I'm soft locked. Oh God. I'm stuck! Oh my god, help! Oh. Fine! Horse Von Hey will deal with this. Hello, unfancy bench. Well, you are a worthless feature and quite unfancy, you fail to understand that all Toontown rewritten features are unfancy, worthless, and for peasants. Wait, I was also soft locked? How badly coded is this peasant game? Oh my gosh! The very fancy Horse Von Hay has fainted. Evil alligator is here. Dave, whatever you do, do not touch that bench. Never hope for anything in life. I wanted to meet raccoon tunes in real life. I know they eat trash, so I jumped inside the trash can and waited. Unfortunately, no raccoons came, but a garbage truck did. I was thrown into the garbage truck and I got crushed. Evil Alligator thinks Dave has more stories to tell. A few years ago, I was camping. In my dreams, I was dreaming about Toontown. I was in the factory with Dipper. It was so much fun. As we got to the foreman, I was woken by a bear. I thought it was Dipper, so I gave it a big bear hug. Then it mauled me, and I went sad. That was the family-friendly version. I was at the bank because I wanted to get a loan. While I was talking to the manager, he asked me what my job was. I really wanted a loan, so I decided to lie and say I was a CFO. He was like, you're a CFO? Then he started rambling something about Toontown. Then he picked up a safe and threw it at my head. Because I wasn't actually CFO, I couldn't put it on my head. So instead, I went sad. Let me tell you a story from when I worked at the prestigious law school. There was a student who was quite the troublemaker. His name was Crazy Loopy Kringlemush. This student was so out of hand, he once attempted to assault Mr. Mudsnapper with a birthday cake during class. The horrible headmistress of the prestigious law school called me into her office and told me to deal with him. I punished him by forcing him to get my max stock options on Toontown Rewritten. The headmistress was outraged when she heard I did this, apparently by forcing a student to farm boss bot. HQ golf courses, you are putting them in serious psychological danger, and that breaks a bunch of ethical laws or something. It's stupid. I didn't lose my job or anything that day, but grrr. Did you know I once tried to summon a cog building on Horse Von Hayes estate? He retaliated by burning my tuna state to the ground. That stupid fancy horse. 
punched a hole through my monitor the first time I fought the BP. You see, a robber baron once broke into my house while I was racing on a city circuit racetrack. I was too distracted racing to really care that he was stealing all my household belongings. The robber baron quickly left with everything in my house while I kept racing. I was able to finish the race when my internet got disconnected and I lost 300 tickets. Those 300 tickets were far more valuable than anything that was stolen from my house that day because it meant I had to race on Toontown rewritten more. Remember the TTR Laugh Olympics? You had to get to 115 laugh in one month. If you completed this goal, you would get entered into a drawing to win a TTR prize pack. I won a prize pack and was really excited. However, when I opened it, it was full of junk. I've been fired from about 689 jobs while attempting to be a lawyer. Great work, Dave. You convinced the bench. The old man who plays Toontown wants to have a picnic. We don't have time for this stupid old man who plays Toontown. We have to be on the lookout for silly objects gone wrong. Oh my god, you know we can have a picnic and look out for silly objects gone wrong at the same time. Picnic, 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 picnic. Uh-oh, the geyser's talking. Hey, stupid geyser, that's what I want to do. I want to have a picnic. It's those people who don't want to have a picnic. Oh, you don't want me standing on the picnic table like this? The geyser's using geyser on me, what the? Where did that old man get flung to? What do you mean, how could you? You stupid geyser! What the heck? You flung me! This is classic gaslighting, you stupid geyser! Ah! Help! All I see is the water texture! Dave, do something! You stupid old peasant! You always call Dave! Why don't we try to battle this stupid geyser ourselves? Come on, horse on, hey, you gotta, you gotta be honest, remember the boat and the 2 HQ, you know, uh, when he called the VP? Dave is overpowered, he can deal with the geyser very well. Dave, watch out, it looks like the geyser is preparing an attack. I guess that kind of makes sense, because geysers are water, and technically wind is... Horse Von A, shut up! We got it distracted! Now's my chance! Hey, geyser! You know in original Toontown, you used to be able to drive around your race cart and run tunes over with it! Wait, did I say original Toontown? I'm a beta Toontown! Sorry for any confusion! Watch out, old man who plays Toontown! Evil alligator thinks the geyser is going to redirect the wind towards your race cart! Whoosh! My car! I wonder where that race cart got flung to. Stupid geyser! This one's off the Richter scale. Dave, I don't think that attack did anything! Ah, oh, now it's blowing the gust of wind at me! Whoosh! I wonder where that old man got flung to. I wonder what the old man who plays Toontown is doing during this. Oh, don't worry. I I'm still here. You know, this feels like it's been going on and on and on. How long will you blow gusts of wind? Whoosh! Whoosh! Oh, Horse Von Hay is going to go insane. I'll deal with this. Hey, peasant geyser, fight someone fancy for once. My fancy trick worked. I have captured your water, you stupid geyser. Yes, clearly. Just give me one second. Horse Von Hay is turning your water into fancy water. Hey Dave, call up the Vice President of Sales. Tell him we have a product to sell. Cellbots, come drain this geyser. We have fancy water to sell.
Please wait a little while, while we drain the geyser. Oh wow, great work, Senior Vice President Sales. Look at how much fancy water you made. Great work defeating the geyser, Horse Von Hay. Evil Alligator will get the old man from the pond. Evil Alligator notices the tunnel, just wants to talk. Oh yes, I guess you were unused for all of Toontown Online. Oh, but you're sad that when you were used, Toontown Rewritten only used you for Toonfest. Oh, this tunnel is such a peasant. Evil Alligator is unsure about what to do next. Oh, Evil Alligator knows. Toonfest isn't all bad, you silly tunnel. There was once a great Toonfest. The greatest Toonfest ever. This Toon Fest was when my owner, Coach Zucchini's Evil Twin, got a bunch of fat dogs with the bump on their head named Sergeant Leonardo Crunchin Sprocket to run through this tunnel and recorded this amazing video that you see here. Coach Z's Evil Twin also technically did this twice for two Toon Fests in a row, where he got Sergeant Leonardo Crunchin Sprockets to go to Toon Fest. Now, you got to be a part of that Toonfest tunnel? Yes, there always needs to be a tunnel for Sergeant Leonardo Crunchin Sprockets to run to Toonfest. Yes, you are welcome, Toonfest tunnel. This golf cart doesn't appear to be talking. We must have taken care of all the silly objects. Never mind. You know, come to think of it, why do both Toons and Cogs golf? The golf cart appears to not know what golf is. This golf cart must be a peasant. Well, if it was truly a peasant, do you think it would actually want to learn what golf is? Dave, explain what golf is to the golf cart. You know a lot about golf. Four. Why would golf be math? Oh, I guess four does technically also mean the number four. Oh, we don't have time for this. Yes, it's math. Golf is math. Whatever. Will that get you to not run tunes over or something? Good. All right. Horse Von Hay, I don't think golf is math. Shut up. Well, it looks like we have taken care of all the silly objects in all three playgrounds. So that means we just got to go back to Clerk Will, right? Oh, yes. It looks like this journey is coming to a fancy conclusion. Let's go to Clerk Will and then back to Dr. Surly. Didn't we just have to check in with this person? I don't know, how many peasants do we have to fight today? Oh my god, he's throwing banana peels everywhere. Oh my god, look, they're, they're, they're getting on the, the battle UI, they're getting on the screen. This is literally the most pointless attack ever. If you don't use lure, how are we supposed to even slip on the banana peels? Whoa. <sighs> Never mind, Dave found a way. Hey, you gotta be honest though, uh, he's been pretty good, the, the, the majority of whatever this adventure is. Hey, you stupid clerk Will, you know what? Trap is a worthless gag track, trap, more like trash. Actually, come to think of it, trap is literal garbage. Banana peels? That's actually just garbage that you throw on the floor. Watch out, old man, it looks like clerk Will has marbles. I hate this! This is a stupid boss fight! This boss fight is- I'm not- I'm not- I'm not participating in this boss fight. He, he, one of you idiots fight it. Oh my god. Oh my god. He, he- he literally threw the marbles at me! Well, I mean, the- Dave slipped on the- I don't care, it's Dave! He threw the marble- I'm John- I'm John- Someone else beat up the stupid clerk, Will! Stupid SOS card! Garbage! Oh? Oh, I think Dave got back up. Wait, are you charging at him with a pen? This fountain pen has such a nice font. Dave, I don't think you used that attack right. Well, that is a very fancy red. I will have to agree with the old man who plays Toontown on this one. I don't think that fountain pen used to do th whatever that was. Oh my god, look, Horse Von. Hey, look what you did. You made him really angry. I'm not the one who... Do you want me to sit out this fight too? Well, sorry, Horse Von Hate. Doesn't look like you can do that. He's using an ultimate attack. It's Clerk Will. What's he gonna do? Worst case scenario, he runs you over with a train. Okay, that's just mean. 
evil alligator would like to inform you that the elite cat from the beginning of the adventure has appeared to enter the gag shop. How is this one of the stupidest battles we have went through? <sighs> I don't think this is the stupidest horse on hey, let's be real. Evil alligator will clear up any confusion. An elite cat, unrelated to this battle, who needs gags, has entered the gag shop. Please sell him gags. So is Clerk Will being serious about this? Dave ran up with a pen and he thinks that we're doing some elaborate ploy with an elite cat to, to trick him to do exactly what? I mean, we could have done that. I can, I can get my elite cat costume on. I got the good, I got the really good meow, 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 meow. Why is Clerk Will such a moron? Oh my god, you want me to actually explain this to you? Alright, alright, you want me to actually explain this? Alright, uh, this boss fight's so stupid. Alright, uh, change the, change the thing. Change the thing to like a, to like a, another screen. Okay, yeah, alright, here it is. Alright, good, alright. Hey, it's the old man who plays Toontown's, uh, intermission. Do, 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 do. Alright, so you see, you see here, uh, a horse run, hey. So, uh, certain people view the world in different ways. You, for example, view the world through the lens of fanciness. Clark Will views the world in, uh, well, like, trap gags. He thinks everything is like a trap gag. So, of course, he's gonna think that everything is a trap. You get it? Oh, shut up, old man. It looks like Clark Will's about to do something. Oh, uh, is it supposed to hit us? Oh, Clark Will's trying to- Oh my god, it's running over the cat! I don't think that cat was alright. Oh, who cares about that stupid elitist cat? Oh, I got an idea. Watch this, Horse Von Hay. Hey, Clerk Idiot! Remember when you used tons of marbles against me? Well, now I'm gonna do the same thing to you! Take this! Ah, you stupid rabbit! Ah, I got more! Take this! Ah, ah there we go! I got him! He's defeated! Stupid Clerk Will's defeated! Are you sure? Is he just in a state of permanent ah? Evil Alligator, check the tune task. Evil Alligator will check. Evil Alligator will confirm. The tune task is completed. Evil Alligator has returned, Dr. Surly, to tell you that Evil Alligator and company have completed your tune task. What? 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 Oh my god, you stupid idiot, Surly. We completed the stupid tune task where we got to beat up all the silly objects and then we beat up Clerk Will. Why did you have us beat up Clerk Will, by the way? Grrrr! I am so mad! You're mad, you stupid doctor peasant? We did your stupid silly tune task, now give us the research notes! <laughs> no! Alright, whatever, we'll do this the way we've done everything. Dave, beat up Dr. Idiot! Watch this! Watch out! It looks like Dr. Surly got out a nightmare machine! What a heck's a nightmare machine? Well, it's probably going to absorb us into a nightmare! Oh no! Evil alligator! Oh no! We were sent back to the make a tune screen. You know, in a weird way, isn't this further than we got last time? Evil alligator will make a tune! Wait, is that the best idea? I don't know what else you want to do. It's loading. Oh my god, we're gonna have to do the tutorial. Never mind, apparently this is a nightmare. Well, clearly, that's what that idiot Dr. Surly put us into. There are apparently rules? This nightmare will keep going and going. It will keep getting more intense. You escape by not going insane. How does that make any sense? Oh, I see. So it will give in if we have the will to survive it. Oh my god, it's starting! Oh, this isn't too bad. It's just the gray area. Evil alligator thinks you should prepare yourself. It is loading scary things. Alright, guys. Okay, keep it, keep your cool, keep it together. We have no idea what's gonna load. Whoa. Oh, all right. Honestly, I, I was gonna pretend to be scared for dramatic effect, but uh, that's not scary at all. I am a scary tree. I am a scary tree. I am so scary. I am a scary tree. Well, we get a turn now. I think. What should we do? Ah. Uh well, we just have to survive this nonsense, so, uh, I guess let's react in a non-scared way. Evil Alligator thinks Dave is the best at reacting to scary things. You think so? In a calm way? Okay, Dave, 
please react very very not scared when the tree attacks again i am a scary tree i am scary tree i am a scary tree i am taunting you i am a scary tree oh, oh, oh. i am the scariest tree ever i am terrifying Mo-ha-ha-ha. I am the scariest tree, tree that's scary. I am a scary tree. I'm 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 angry. I, d- Why aren't you scared? Oh my God! I give up. What an absolute disgrace! That was supposed to be scary. I'm insulted. <laughs> I thought it was going to be scary, oh my god. Oh, it's Peasant Tom again. Evil Alligator did not think that was scary at all. Oh, that was ultra, ultra easy mode? Oh, oh, you're going to make it ultra, ultra hard mode now? Oh dear god, oh lord, oh god, oh man. Okay, it might actually be scary now. This might have been a mistake. This is your fault, Horse Von Hay. How is this my fault? Oh no, my suit! This is a true nightmare! Evil alligator thinks you should prepare yourself this time! Alright, let's see, what does ultra scary mode got? Oh my god, I'm actually insulted. Oh, I am a scary, a scary day, tree. Stare scary at all the scary, scary trees, trees no, again. Scary I refuse to look at tree, any more scary trees. Scary tree, I've had enough of this nonsense. Oh, for God's sakes, oh, Dave, oh, this is where you draw the line of all oh, things. I'm so scary, scary, scary trees. Scary. Dr. Surly, I will chop down your scary trees. Why, you really think we are scary trees? Oh, 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 scary trees, scary trees, trees, Dr. Surly, I've had enough of this. However, if you refuse, I will chop down as many scary trees as you force me to. Oh, I don't think that'll be necessary, Dave. It looks like the scary trees went sad. I will do this until the end of time itself. I am the boss, scary tree. Do, 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 do. I hate scary trees. I am the boss, scary tree, the scariest tree of all. Oh, I am so scary. You aren't even scary. I'm a scary tree. I'm a scary tree. I think I've almost gotten through the nightmare. Yeah, it appears like Little Looney Lab's contraption's malfunctioning. Evil Alligator believes in you, Dave. Attempt to wake up and end this. Go, Peasant Dave. <sighs> oh. Oh. How? There you are, Dr. Surly. This is what I think of your scary trees. Hey, what are you? Oh my, what just happened? It seems I was punched. You have activated my super silly mode. The name's Dr. Surly. You'll regret that punch surely. I'm gonna use my silly weapon to end your life early. Was that so silly?
are so clever Oh, I will take credit And make so many jelly beans XD, 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 LOL, LOL, LOL XD, 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 ha 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 XD, 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 LOL, LOL, LOL XD, 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 ha 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 It is now time to fight your silly weapon! Ugh, those peasants locked us in loony labs. I've been trying to get out of here since that musical number started. Hey, horse one, hey, you know anything about a silly weapon? No, what, 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 I don't know what the silly weapon is. Why would I know anything about that? You should know something about that. No, I, I, that's a new one for me. Of course you wouldn't know anything about the silly weapon. It's Toontown's ultimate secret. Hello, did you happen to forget? I know all about Toontown. The silly weapon is the fully charged silly meter. It can distort reality itself. It is Toontown's last line of defense. How did you find out about the whatever? It doesn't matter. The silly weapon is here. Oh my god, it has an original battle theme. What on earth is this attack? I'm not sure if this is Fonsi or- Oh my god, it's like Toon Valley again! Oh god, someone do something! Horse one ain't doing something fancy! I don't know what to do. Hey, stupid silly meter! You're so stupid! You waste my time! You know, with your stupid mailbox! I threw it in the lava room! You're an idiot! Why did you think that was a good idea? To just insult it? Well, you, you said you didn't have an idea. Oh God, what's it doing? Did you just use up your turn doing that? Oh dear God almighty, oh God, oh Lord, we don't need any bike cords on this, oh God. Oh, shut up. What even is this stupid boss fight? Oh, well, that's a silly one. I know what stupid boss fight this is. Evil alligator. Evil alligator, do something! Evil alligator is thinking. Evil alligator will. I, I don't know. Who designed this garbage boss? It can literally just skip our turn? Oh my. What? Wow. Are you serious? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. I am so silly. I am so silly. <laughs> XD XD. I hate to interrupt this amazing battle, especially after it just got started. But I should really go hide, just in case things go wrong. Ha! Ah! Wait, what the heck is that peasant up to? Oh my god, he's getting away! He unlocked the door! I'm going to chase after him! I bet he's hiding because he got a remote to control the silly weapon or something! Here, you, you three idiots deal with the silly weapon! I'm gonna beat up Dr. Surly! Is this the best idea, Horse Von Hay? Well, it's not like he was doing anything helpful in this stupid boss battle. Besides, Dr. Surly is the creator of this silly weapon. Beating him up is probably going to benefit us. But anyways, we have this battle to deal with. I have no idea where he went. I just, I just retraced the steps of the adventure. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna head back. One second. Oh 
Oh my god, I'm finally back. Oh lord. Wait a second. Oh my god, is that him? What? Error? Right when I found Dr. Shirley? You found a visual bug that looks like Dr. Shirley. Okay, I, I guess it wasn't him. Please wait, loading. Wait, what the heck does the game have to load? Evil alligator, do you have any ideas? Well, I guess let's just try and see if any attacks do anything to the silly weapon. Okay, I guess that's a start. Horse Von Hey will use Fancy Punch. Oh, are we getting somewhere? No, the silly weapon is just mocking us. You have an attack that's literally just called mocking? Oh, what on earth is this? I am Horse Von Hey. I am a fancy horse. Fancy horse, I am so fancy. Oh, I am Horse Von Hey. Oh, I am so fancy. Fancy horse, fancy. I am Horse Von Hey. I am fancy horse. Fancy horse, I am so fancy. Oh, I am Horse Von Hey. Oh, I am so fancy. Horse fancy. What an absolute disgrace! Evil Alligator is concerned. Why did it sound like Dave? Well, I've waited a while. Quite a lot of errors. That's not quite a lot of errors. It's like two. Oh, okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. What did you do to make this many errors? I didn't do anything! I was just looking for Dr. Shirley, you stupid error message. Flattery will get me everywhere. Genius. Instant classic. Masterpiece. Visionary. Oh, well that was also pointless. Also, why do you use that cog attack? Oh, not this again. If there appears to be a problem with your tune, don't worry. We'll get it straightened out. Please contact Toontown Rewritten Support and reference error code number 127. Oh my god, the error messages just keep blaming me. Oh my god, I've been very patient. If you're seeing this message, it looked like the- What?! Oh my god, their stupid buggy game literally accidentally set off their hack detection. It's literally asking me if I used malicious software while well, it tries to see if I was using malicious so No, I wasn't! Yes, I am sure! So, you didn't use- We've been over this! Yes, I didn't use malicious software! Yes, really?! So, are you saying that- Oh, finally, a new question. Yeah, probably. Do you worship the TTR? What does this have to do with anything? Oh, it looks like the anti-hack's done. All right, let's see here. Uh, TTR anti-hack is analyzed and come to the conclusion you used the malicious software known as Game Shark. I've literally never heard of that in my life. That must be some weird new high-tech like hacker thing. Please note our team takes. Oh my God! Why is TTR accusing me of being a master hacker and knowing all these really advanced programs like Game Shark? Wait a second. The punishment for this offense is. Oh my God! Of all things, I am a scary tree. All right. Well, I'm back. I couldn't find Dr. Shirley. I never left. I turned on super silly invisible mode. Oh my God! That's stupid. Hey, silly weapon, fight me directly. You're telling me you're literally gonna use the text bar. Come on. Oh my god. Oh god, the text bar just vanished from the screen. Okay, come on. This isn't fair. Bah! I've always hated you, you stupid silly meter. You always make all the stupid options of waste my time. I hate you, you stupid silly. Well, at least I get to attack now. Look at the text bar. Oh, come on. You know, that's a good point. Why isn't there a Mega Cog screen? What the heck is this attack? Yeah, you're right. The devs of this game were really creative. Is this thing literally just insulting the Toontown Online devs? No, I, I don't think you understand it. I think it's complimenting them. Look, it's, look, it's saying how creative they were. Well, it looks like it made a cog. Oh my god, you stupid silly weapon. That's just a cold caller. Wait, wait a second. My bad, that's a short change. You moron, it just took some paint tool and made- Oh my god. Wait, that's a new cog? Oh, I see, that's the legal receptionist. Alright, sorry for the confusion, silly weapon. Okay, now that's a short- w Wait a second. Oh my god, how long is this stupid stunt going to go on for? We know! Most of the cogs in this stupid game are recolors! Okay, that's a bit unfair. Most. Definitely not most. And also, this one's name is Lackey, by the way, Horse Von Hay. 
You know what, Silly Weapon? You are quite talented. I mistook two of those cogs for official Toontown Online cogs. Oh wow, look! A cog they didn't recolor in the official game. <sighs> are you done? Is that the end of the attack? Well, that's not very silly, beating up someone. Oh my god, Dave! Dave, are you alright? Dave, get up! Oh no, not the Foghorns! Wasn't Dave fine when he had to deal with Foghorns back in Donald's dock? Well, yeah, but he can't cover his ears, he's knocked out! <laughs> Kaboom! Defense mode? Well, I guess we can't hit it for like three turns. What a really good gameplay mechanic. What a heck, rain? Wait a second, peasant rain? Oh, 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 it's literally raining peasant. The very fancy Horse Von Hay has fainted. Oh my god, Horse Von Hay's a peasant who faints over rain. Oh my god, not my weakness, Jerry Oswald, no, oh god, oh my god, no, oh, 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 oh my god, oh my evil alligator, you can do that, oh. Evil alligator needs to focus. Is there a way out of this, or is the silly weapon unbeatable? There's something off, something wrong. Ever since we got absorbed into Toontown Rewritten, every fight has felt fair. When we went down Punchline Place and the old man got eaten by the mailbox, we were able to defeat it. Dave was able to beat the boat for Donald's dock quite easily. Even the stupid geyser we were able to defeat. The silly weapon and Dr. Surly seem different. Is it because they are more powerful, or is it because they aren't actually silly. Is Toontown rewritten even silly? Wait a second. Evil Alligator has the answer! I shall explain everything to you. Silly Weapon, you should not be fighting for Toontown rewritten. Toontown is quite silly indeed, but Toontown rewritten is not. For example, you know the hub areas in Toontown? The playgrounds? Some people might try and compare Toontown Rewritten with a real-life playground. It's something that was fun when you were a child, but most people grow up from. You might try to say that TTR's adult player base are just grown adults who can't get over this old playground, who just keep role-playing on it. This analogy, however, is false. It is far too kind to TTR's adult player base, because TTR is not like a real-life playground. Any real-life playground would throw grown adults role-playing out of it instantly. So what is TTR if it's not a playground for grown adults? What can grown adults role-play on in real life that's old, that's from the past, and aha, the hero of Toontown has found the answer. Toontown Rain is a garbage pit, a collection of trash from the past that no one wanted. Trash that is so inconsequential that even the owners of said trash, Disney, don't care if grown adults role-play on it. This analogy is perfect because garbage pits are also full of toxic fumes and tons of other things you want to stay away from. Because playing TTR is much akin to breathing in toxic chemicals. I mean, it just is. The people who play TTR say the most outlandish things, like pretending that Disney would care about what they're doing with their trash. Because, remember, Disney views Toontown as trash. Thinking that Disney cares about what you do with a Toontown server is like saying, oh, Disney wouldn't want you to roll around in that pile of discarded paper that way. Oh, how dare you? you rub all that expired frosting over your face. That frosting was Disney's trash. Imagine if they saw what you're doing with it. It gets even worse when they call Disney respectful for letting this community roll around in their landfill. They haven't even thrown us out. Well, if Toontown Rewritten isn't silly, what is it? What is Toontown Rewritten if not silly? Well, I think two better terms to describe it would be pathetic and delusional. Silly Weapon, calm down! Evil Alligator, the fact that you did this to the Silly Weapon is unthinkable! You are quite a powerful foe indeed. However, all I have to do is restart the Silly Weapon. Restart! Wait! Are you messing around? Evil 
alligator thinks we need to run now. What about the research notes? I don't think there's any time for those. Oh, of course you think. Evil alligator is serious. We need to get out of here now. No, I won't run away. I refuse. Before what? Ends my life early! Oh my god, what a great Halloween decoration! Oh, and uh, we got Evil Alligator's notes back too! Oh, that was quite the explosion! Is everyone okay? Evil Alligator is okay. Dave, are you okay? What the? My suit! Somehow it got destroyed in the blast! How is that even possible? Oh my god, this is literally the best Halloween decoration ever. I'm, I'm gonna give him a name. I'm gonna give him a name. His name's gonna be surely not a real skeleton. I also enjoy displaying the bones of my fallen foes as Halloween decorations. Well, I guess we got the research notes back. And uh, Toon Hall might have got blown up in the process. But hey, victory! Evil alligator thinks we should probably get out of Toon Tundry Ridden now before... Someone notices, uh, what, uh, happened. Amazing work! Oh, hello, fancy senior vice president of sales. Whatever are you doing here? Toontown is grateful for what you four have done this fine day. Take a look at this amazing thank you card that they have made you. Evil Alligator is surprised! Who made us this thank you card? Turn the page, Evil Alligator. Many tunes. Thank you for killing Dr. Surly. Wait, a lot of people want Dr. Surly dead? Oh, yes. Many, many tunes. Turn the page to see some examples of things that Dr. Surly did. After Dr. Surly created the Shilly Meter, my entire family was eaten by mailboxes. Oh my god, gee, I told you. I told you those super silly mailboxes were a huge issue. This tune says they couldn't even take out their trash after the Silly Meter was invented. It would run away and dance. That sounds horrible. Oh look, it's the one greener we gave to the VP. You know, has anyone pointed that out? Giving sentience to a trash can literally just gives them a life of eating trash. That is so cruel. Oh my god, even race carts were angry at Dr. Shirley. Oh, the peasant petting zoo is shut down. That place was for peasants. Oh my god, this tune's house literally burned to the ground because the fire hydrant was too busy using super squirt. Oh my lord. This bear's mailbox got filled up with worthless chairs. Oh my god, I think Horse Von Hay does that to Dave. What? This isn't about me, this is about Dr. Surly. Look at this tune. Dr. Surly ran him over with a train. He broke into this tune's house and beat him over the head with a lamp. I've never seen anyone break a Toontown lamp in two pieces like that. Uh, this tune is just claiming they found a dead tune on the floor. That's maybe a little concerning. Well, who else would kill that dog besides Dr. Surly? He gave this tune actual trash from the phase files. He said that he would drown this tune's family unless he worked for Looney Labs? How horrible. Oh my god, look at this one though. He did the same thing to this tune, but he still drowned their family even though they did work for Looney Labs. What the heck? As you can clearly see, Dr. Surly was hated. You tunes have done a great service for this town. Look, it's even telling us we did a tunetastic job. Well, I guess that's the end of RPG mode. Old man, Dave, Horse Von Hay, Evil Alligator is sorry for getting you wrapped up in all this nonsense. What are you talking about, Evil Alligator? You saved us back there. You defeated the silly weapon. I do have to say, Evil Alligator, that was one of the most fancy comebacks I've ever seen. I thought for sure the silly weapon was going to make us all into peasants. Coach Evil Twins should be honored to have such a powerful pet alligator. Wait, Coach Evil Twins? What are you talking about, Dave? Oh, uh, you've never seen him like this? Dave's sleep deprived. Uh, don't mind him. Uh, it's been a long day. Oh, don't mind, Dave. Anyways, Evil Alligator, it wasn't your fault for getting us into any of this. Evil Alligator called you three for this meeting, though. But when you called this meeting, all of this could have been resolved if the old man just told us about himself. It wasn't your fault, Evil Alligator. And it certainly wasn't your fault that someone broke into your house and stole your research notes. I have to agree with Horace Von Hay on this one. 
it wasn't your fault that your research notes got stolen. But it was Evil Alligator's fault for making the research notes in the first place. Well, why did you make your research notes in the first place? As Evil Alligator crawled around Toontown from day to day, I noticed how much I liked to observe and take in my surroundings. I never thought that if I started taking notes, that they would become so valuable one day. Evil Alligator made these research notes out of a passion for Toontown, because Evil Alligator cares about Toontown. I took these notes because I wanted to absorb all of my surroundings about Toontown and learn as much as Evil Alligator could about Toontown. But as Evil Alligator kept taking his research notes, Evil Alligator started to realize that, that, uh, that no one really cares about Toontown. Evil Alligator wishes more people cared about Toontown. Evil Alligator wishes that more people saw what Evil Alligator sees in Toontown. The silly robots, the silly gags, how silly this game is. However, I guess just not that many people see the world as Evil Alligator does. Well, now that you mention it, has anyone really cared that much about Toontown? Like... Ever? Well, if you knew my backstory, you would know how much I cared about Toontown, you stupid fancy horse! Oh right, how could I forget? We still don't know your backstory! What? After that epic adventure, do you just want him to reveal that he's actually just an old man who plays Toontown? Anyways, old man, I apologize for crawling to your residency here, but I wanted to give you these, my research notes. Wait, wh why would you give me your research notes? Evil Alligator shouldn't have taken notes on you, old man. It was just an evil alligator's nature. I was taking notes on everything in Toontown. But I didn't mean to pry into your past. So Evil Alligator apologizes and will give you the research notes. Evil Alligator, are you sure about this? Do not worry, Mr. Fancy Horse Man. I will break in the old man who plays Toontown's house and steal the research notes just for you. Wait a second, what? Oh, so after you get the research notes from him, will you deliver them straight to me, Horse Von Hey? After I get the research notes, I will personally read them to you as a bedtime story every night. I will even fluff your pillow for you. What kind of turn did this take? I don't want you fluffing my pillow, you peasant. Oh yeah, Horse Von Hey, I told you, Dave is really sleep deprived. He's, he's not going to say anything making sense. I need sleep. You think I'm going to be mentally sane if I don't get the rest after that? Cool, fine, Dave, whatever, go get sleep, you peasant. To be fair though, you were a pretty powerful peasant this RPG adventure. So even though you still are a peasant lawyer, Dave, I will say that was a pretty fancy job you did. Oh, but Horse Von Hay, did you still want me to fluff your pillow? I never asked you to fluff my pillow, you peasant! Well, maybe I will fluff your pillow when you're not looking. What if I beat you up with my pillow, Dave? What if I fluff your pillow, then hide under the bed so you can't find me? Well, that would make sense since you certainly remind me of a monster that would hide under a bed. Wait. Why am I talking about fluffing Horse Von Hay's pillow? I hate that stupid fancy horse. Oh, right. I'm sleep deprived. Hey, evil alligator. It's been fun, but I battle a trolley, a boat, a sign, a bench, and probably more. Always, I'm going to need sleep. You're welcome. Ugh, whatever. Horse Von Hay does need his fancy sleep. I guess I'll find out how the old man is a stupid peasant or whatever his backstory is later.
figured it out, didn't you, evil alligator? When did when exactly did you figure out my past? If evil alligator is going to be honest, then evil alligator will have to admit it was one of my theories from a while ago. I doubted my conclusions. It's one of the reasons why I called the meeting in the first place. I thought I was wrong. But when you referenced that that thing about you being involved in Toontown rewritten development, all the pieces immediately came together, and I knew. And you found out that my backstory is probably better off not knowing, which is probably why you just helped me cover it up just now. Evil alligator. I'm... I'm sorry about what I did. Everyone, everyone in this... Old man, I also learned things that make me admire you. What? Evil alligator thinks... You're the person who cares the most about Toontown ever! Oh my god, I know! And considering that no one seems to care about Toontown, Evil Alligator thinks the fact that you care far more than anyone ever has is quite admirable. Do you have any questions about my past? Evil Alligator thinks that I only have one. And what is it? Well, are you sure that, uh... They won't be able to follow you here. I made sure to close off the portal when I escaped from them. So, I don't think so. I think they probably would have found me by now, if so. Well, that's all Evil Alligator had to ask. Thanks, Evil Alligator, for not hating me for what I did. Oh, be quiet, old man who plays Toontown. If they can't follow you here, then let's just, uh, well, pretend you're just an old man who plays Toontown. Yeah, it's probably for the best. We should probably also find a good place to hide the research notes so no one steals them again. Anyways, old man who plays Toontown, that was quite the adventure. Evil Alligator should really head off to bed. Uh, Evil Alligator, I don't think they can come through the portal, but they had a lot of advanced technology and, uh, well, I don't fully know. If we have to actually deal with them, old man, we'll deal with them. But for now, let's just say, you're an old man who plays Toontown. Just an old man who plays Toontown. That's better than what everyone outside this dimension calls me, the greatest criminal in the multiverse.